Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B at iMuggle on Twitter. Uh, today we're going to look at an app called Full Force for iPad. This is a jailbreak only app. Uh, the main feature of the app, what it does is, as most of us know, when you load an app that does not have an iPad binary or it's not specifically made for iPad, it does this. It's tiny and little and stupid. And you can only really click two times and it kind of looks like crap, kind of like my camera. I'm working on getting a better one. Um, the point of full force is you can go into your settings, which is where you would administer this from, and you'll see an extension right there. It says full force. Click into that and you'll see a list of all of your applications. You can scroll through all of those. You can enable or disable these. Uh, apparently, Kimmy went through and enabled all of them. Um, let's take Beehive, since I just showed you that. I disabled that on purpose. Let's click it on, so then Full Force will change that. Now let's go back into Beehive. Oh, look. It pops up. And what it does is it reformats it to fit the iPad screen to where it doesn't look like crap anymore. Um, you can tab through, I kind of signed out of all the accounts so then you didn't see account information. But um, yeah, it, it formats it really nice. Actually, I was surprised at how well this works. Um, let's do another one. I know I already have it on, so let's turn it off. All right, let's try where Facebook, where did you go? Let's turn it off for a second. Facebook loads pretty gross on here. Um, yeah, it just doesn't really look right. So let's go back into here. I'm really surprised Facebook hasn't released an iPad app yet. That surprises me. But Well, okay, I guess it doesn't because there's lots of issues with the iPhone app that they still haven't fixed. All right, so now let's try it with full force activated. Ta-da! Formats it really nicely. Um, some of them, like screens like this, it doesn't have the rotation built in. Um, only certain apps with this are supported so far. So if you go into, where is Cydia? Or Rock, either one. Alright, so we'll load Cydia. And let's search for it. This is free, by the way. There's no cost for this, and I think if there was, I'd still be willing to pay it, because it does a pretty good job at the apps it does support. Uh, there it is. Okay. Let's let that load real quick. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. Down here, it says works only for iPad. Obviously, it's the only thing you need it for. They have a compatibility list. If you click that, it gives you a Google Doc. Well, I guess Cydia doesn't rotate. But it gives you a document of that. Uh, I guess anyone can edit this. You can put whether or not it works, uh, if it does, but you have issues, what the issues are. Um, if you click on one, I believe it lets you... Yeah, you can change what someone listed or added add to it. Um, so that's pretty nice. It looks like the developers are actively trying to get more apps on there. So if you want it for a specific app or if you're wanting to know if anything you use will format correctly with this, um, there's your answer. Uh, it's not obviously complete, but they're working on it. Um, I think that's about it for full force. Uh, the, oh, let's show you what it does if an app does not format correctly. I'm assuming since Kimmy went uh, app happy with this, you see how doodle jump right there, it does not format correctly. The menus are all overlapped. So there's some that still need some work, but for the most part, um, it's a decent app and for free, you can't beat it. Questions, comments, leave them in the forums or in the comments. Thanks.